Hey yo, what's up? My name is iPhone and welcome back to Love Last School Idol Festival. And we, I got a good news and bad news. And the good news is the um, I got my uh, tablet fixed. And most of um, the videos uh, of me playing Love Last School Idol Festival gameplays, you can see some scatters and some shadows in the um, uh, screen. So. Uh, it's probably I sometimes get super annoyed when I uh, hit the button and uh, that my tablet doesn't listen to me. So I really want the thanks to uh, my parents, friends who uh, fix my tablet, uh, and uh, it's just um, a screen replace, but it's still fine. No data loss. I still got my level. So yeah. Of course, I uh, turn the uh, volume off because yeah, it's a menu music. I don't want to get copyrights in these videos. And of course, um, as always, every time you lock, uh, every time you uh, play this game, please make sure to lock you every single day, or else you don't want to miss any. Uh, uh, um, I was member or miss member's birthday because you got the stories or you even uh, don't want to miss like a month <laughs> and uh, you miss the whole event and you miss the whole story and you have to find the keys and which you, uh, which right now lodging and um, bonus is becoming more important now so um, I I haven't played Love Life Squad or Festival for a month now in uh, real life. Most of the videos you see every single uh, uh, week in um, my Love Life Squad or gameplays is already scheduled, so I mostly play from uh, um, the, um, um, uh, a few weeks ago or a few months ago, so. It's not that old because and this is impossible for me to make uh, a lot of video schedule like making plays like a few months ago is impossible for me it's just a few weeks and yeah I hey and uh, yeah let's talk about the updates on uh, the games as always and uh, it's uh, really nice because um, I almost missed the um, uh, menu background on the Halloween party 2019 campaign and yes I missed one event but I still joined the round 8 companion match so there's a master songs added and yeah of course and I did see uh, all game mode um, master songs added but yeah, it just limited the times, and yeah, it just uh, they add a lot of master songs, but they just simple in limited uh, times anyway. So uh, actually, I uh, don't care because sometimes they're playing later than other people. Sometimes um, I'm getting good because who knows that uh, if there's ever an old charge for most of the old love life songs being modified and. Who knows? And uh, just in case, I just want to scroll down more if I totally miss anything uh, other than oh oh I I miss this one. I think I missed this one when I it was uh, when I was away from Love Life Go at the festival. So. Love Life Squad Idol Project Sunshine, the Squad Idol Movie Over the Rainbow, re-release campaign. So, oh my god, I miss a lot. Even episode 10, Adventure Show. So, which means I'm going to have a hard time finding a keys for episode 10. I it didn't even finish episode 1, which I missed yeah, in the Adventure Show, but... At least I know uh, uh, what I'm about to do next. So, Rip Mick Carnivore's release campaign. 
I don't know I don't know what, what this campaign is and I, I I missed it and and yeah the last time I yeah I I yeah, I did finish around 14 of challenge festivals so yeah I just missed only one uh, side story well it's not a side story it's just other story it's just event story yeah, you know what, Caleb Games, I think it's better to change other stories into event stories. Just change the name right there so we can get um, better on uh, um, uh, getting our views of which stories we gonna miss or we gonna get. So, yeah, I miss episode 10 of Adventure Show. And yeah, because uh, I got my tablet fixed, and it's okay. So um, yeah, I missed. Um, I was head to my marriage vacation homes, and honestly, I uh, haven't read the story at all, and I don't want to get spoilers. So I'm just gonna be patient and just w waiting for another three months to even finish uh, chapters in, which is absurd. And I really need, uh, uh, I, I, I really need to get objections for making a key is not, not purchasable. So yeah, movie version re release campaign is just special bonus and available a lot of song. I did, uh, <laughs> but. I did play most of them. I almost missed Hachimari Road, Marine Border Parasols, and Yosuko Fankano Driving. I almost missed those three. Which is uh, luckily for me. And yeah. Uh, you have to wait for next month <laughs> to be able for uh, to me to just showcase from easy to experts and charge. Uh, for these three songs, Hachimari Road, Marine, Modern Parasol, and Yosoku Fukano Driving. Honestly, uh, I'm st I still like Hachimari Road the best. Uh, uh, and, uh, and Marine, Border Parasols, uh, the ending, I'm sorry, is not my type. And Yosoku Fukano Driving uh, is a hit or miss, but uh, uh, there's a uh, famous also mappers. Which is everybody um, <laughs> surely knows what the for me <laughs> yeah, also mappers <laughs> make the also be maps for Yosuku African driving so yeah it's a hero miss I don't know uh, but yeah people have a different taste so um, right now. Halloween from Mills and Halloween from Aquas. Is we are we going to have um oh nice. It's from Honoka. Trick or treat, give me some candy or I play a prank for you. A prank on you. Lots and lots of candy if you please. Oh, so that was really nice. And most of the people they just you know, skip the uh, news at the uh, beginning <laughs> and they mm, I need to read this like immediately so <laughs> it's really nice for Mills oh I think for Russia because uh, I know uh, I guess uh, Ellie is, uh, is kind of half Japanese or half Russia I don't know but it's really nice they even have uh, the signature as well so I'm glad uh, I always wonder what kind of tricks many people might play if I didn't give them a treat from Ayase Ali. And uh, <laughs> I, I mean that's a good question because mostly people give me treats and uh, if they don't have treats I don't know uh, what tricks they are gonna uh, give to the neighborhood. But yeah, we don't uh, do much trick or treats in Vietnam, so uh, that's a pity. But it's okay because many people they just want to uh, sit at home, hang around on internet. So from Kotori, so um, 
uh, story um, uh, based on the their second final song. Well, uh, it's not it's not the last song, but I just only call it the second final song because it's a song before Moment Ring because Moment Ring being confirmed as Muse's final songs and. Uh, I cannot remember the full song, a uh, full title of the songs. I think it's Bukutachi no Hikari, and Kotori is uh, name of the flowers. I, I I could be wrong, so I I could be wrong, but uh, I really don't know what's uh, uh, the mascot uh, that Kotori has, but okay. I will hard to make uh, Halloween costumes for us uh, this year. I can't wait for us to all wear them. And okay, it's it's uh, really neat because Kotori is a uh, fashion designer of Muse. And uh, actually, <laughs> she's done really good. And Umi for the arrow shooters, and yes, we all know who <laughs> Umi. Uh, for Umi is um, uh, arrow shooters, which has and um, uh, the famous line is uh, love arrow shoot, and uh, Umi in English yep based on the season 2 of Lola Go Idol uh, uh, projects and uh, uh, yeah I have no idea if the K-Lab games or Lentis channels or Bushy Road privatized or unlisted on of the episodes from Lola Go Idol projects in their YouTube channels but uh, well, I guess we're moving on to Love Last Sunshine then, which I'm gonna sh uh, show to you guys in the later videos. But yeah, a uh, warning before we get into those types of topic is uh, I, I am not the staff from Lantis Channel. I am not from staff uh, from K Lab Games. I am not staff from uh, Bushy Road. But I just you know, want to show you, you know, and. Uh, take a um, uh, more warning because um, some other people who really want to download the um, episode with uh, no subtitles so they can practice on editing uh, the subtitles uh, for themselves. So, um, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's called stealing contents because people they use it for education no use they want to practice subtitling the movies so it's okay so yeah so for Umi for Halloween now that I think about it Kotori has been working her tail of making custom uh, these last few days and uh, oh so yeah Kotori is um, not a uh, name of the flower uh, yeah, I is the name of the bird because it's hinted on her signature, which I didn't pay attention. So yeah, and uh, Umi's signature is more calligraphy, and it's really neat. On uh, Umi is somewhat has uh, a little bit of culture's part in her, and she is. Um, yeah, she aggressive but she shy at the same time. So Rin as on Neko. So um, give me cheese or you get a trick. Actually, I haven't got a real trick yet. And she's uh, dressed like a devil cat. And uh, Umi, I think she's dressing like uh, Maho Shoujo, Magic Girls. Maybe Kotori the same, but they just mostly wear like um, um, um Halloween, uh, uh, typical Halloween costumes. So, Rin as a stars.
some nice signatures by the way <laughs> but oh my god I mean Maki Maki's uh, outfit is actually cool though and I remember there's a um, event when people get to vote the Halloween girls and I picked Maki as the um, Halloween girls because she and uh, dress uh, amazing and I really like the visual on uh, uh, how they like uh, I don't know is that true when uh, I don't know is that true and Gaylab games visualizers uh, they are uh, trying to have a competitions on uh, having uh, uh, the best uh, um, uh, visuals on Mills members and Aquas members on uh, Every event like Halloween girls, Christmas girls, and summer girls, and that's really neat. And I, I really can't wait if, uh, for the um, uh, future events if Caleb Games ever are gonna let the, the audience vote uh, for uh, the, the girls for the events again because that's. I think so far that is uh, my most enjoyable uh, uh, events I ever participated. So for Maki, Halloween's here. Come to think of it, Kotori said she would make all of us custom. And uh, Maki, she looked like a freaking DJ <laughs> or oh, singers because look at look at her headphones. She looks so cool. And yeah, it's just um, sad that she's not the Halloween girls. And I don't understand why people want for that girl, especially Nozomi. I mean, I don't understand why Nozomi is Halloween girls, but everybody has a different taste, so I, I don't want to judge. Nozomi is actually okay. In the Halloween girls um, from, and Nozomi, it's, uh, she dressed okay. It's not my type, but I, and I did watch uh, every episodes OVA on movie on Love Life School Idol uh, projects, and I don't get why Nozomi is being picked for the Halloween girls. Because I I thought that in Love Life School at the projects that uh, Muse is not gonna be biased because nobody knows who's scarier, and <laughs> yeah, let's see how Nozomi said. Did you know that they used to make Jack or Lantern out of the turnips? Maybe I'll try that this Halloween. So she even prepared a candy bag. And her signature is just really cute. And she is a uh, moon. Well, not a full moon, but okay. And also, I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, Maki. I don't understand your signature at all. So, next is for Hanayo, the rice girls. The big fan of rice. Well, <laughs> if uh, you're watching. And I'm not scared of um, projects, and you're also a big fan of rice too. You should try a lot of sushi or rice balls or even onigiri. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not bad being a big fan of rice, but sometimes you need uh, to eat different every single day. And I uh, already, uh, I, I always. I always get bored on eating the same dishes and the same meat, same vegetable. Same rice is okay because Vietnamese people they eat rice every single day. Yeah, but for me, I'm in the situation where I eat the same meat every single day, same vegetable every single day, and it just getting, getting boring and sometimes. Uh, I get tired of you know, sometimes some meats just because I eat uh, the same things over again every single day 
and it took like two weeks or a month to uh, get the chance to eat something else and it just mm, not cool at all so Hanoyo said Halloween means getting candy and eating pumpkin cheese is such a deliciously fun holiday um okay at least you eat candy Hanayo please don't eat I mean you still can eat rice in Halloween but and for those who actually are addicted to rice please eat something else nice flower by the way Hanayo and the last girl is a Nico Yasawa Nico which I mean it's a drawing a drawing uh circles and having a, a face inside of it is a thing and right now Nico sense was smiley and yes and and some other people making meme of her so hard. Halloween is here. We are gonna make it a real blast for everyone. Let's kick things into high gear. And okay, so I honestly, some people are thinking. Most of people are thinking Nico could be a Halloween girl because she has a. Uh, people just keep comparing Yoshiko and Nico and I think I I, I don't think Nico is a Halloween girl because she is not creepy but if I mean if K Lab Games ever uh, making uh, events like Valentine girls or uh, Spring girls and uh, someone visualized uh, Nico as a straight hair girl, I would definitely gonna pick her because uh, she is perfectly uh, outgoing even though she being left out in the group <laughs> every single time but oh well it's a really nice text for Halloween for Mills but of course, we're gonna head into Halloween from Aquas as well. So yeah, everybody knows that yeah, in uh, Aquas, um, Halloween girls being biased in the uh, uh, Halloween girls votes event, and yeah, Yoshiko being picked, of course. And for Chica as a Mikan girls, and she. She likes um, Mikan orange, of course. It's Halloween. We even decorated the family Ryukan. Come on by if you dare. And I'm guessing uh, she decorated her house. But I mean, the background is really nice. A lot of pumpkin. Fit for the orange because pumpkin is orange. And yeah, for Ch Chica, Chica's signature is uh, a note as well, and with a little Mikan orange on top. Nice, Rico, and, and uh, well, and uh, to be honest, and to be honest, I. A lot of people uh, like uh, Rico because in real life voice actress she is a singer and she sang a lot in other anime as well. For example, Say Hero Girls, she sang at the ending songs and it sounds super nice. So. Uh, let's go back with uh, Rico in Love Life School at Festival. Also, Love Life Sunshine. <laughs> Today's Halloween. Are you going to wear a costume like everybody, everyone else? So, uh, Rico is a piano girl, of course. And 
in Muse, Maki is, is a piano girl too, and actually in Love Like Sunshine, uh, a little bit of spoilers in Love Like Sunshine over the rainbow, and Rico is actually a, not only just a pianist, she is also um, and uh, if, you, if you know uh, the uh, application, the tools that you make on uh, electronic uh, music, and uh, that's what she use. I don't know uh, the name of it, but that's what she use. It's not Audacity. It's uh, kind of the making uh, uh, your own music, and it's nice. And it's copyright in 2017 as BL. Uh, uh, please I mean I don't know about this but okay so next is the uh, cannon as a um, dolphin and oh uh, um, I know is cannon is um, a divers and and I think they put the dolphin symbols for Kanan is I think that Kanan is super fast and she really likes uh, the sea creatures. So uh, let's see what she said. I'm gonna make a giant check on lantern for Halloween this year. You're gonna love it. Okay. So I think. We start to look at the background, and it's just uh, all the same background actually, but they just change in color as well. So her signature is okay, but still, whoever visualizes the message for Halloween, you are talented. So for Dias and uh, Dias with the. Uh, I mean the dragon on top okay so her symbol is a um, sakura blossoms or sakura flowers I don't know exactly but uh, they made the symbol for a reason because Daya's birthday is a uh, new year's which is coming soon actually <laughs> and you don't want to miss the stories so today's Halloween, everyone is going to be bouncing off the wall, so I need to ha keep a level head. So just like Umi, Daya's signature is uh, based on calligraphy and uh, Daya is getting to more on uh, and responsible ability and um, the culture's uh, as well so yeah so next for Yosoro so oh she has a really nice uh, signatures and instead of yo oh she said yo <laughs> nice one where that's that's a genius whoever great and uh, the signatures for yo Watanabe that's a genius and so because like, mostly her original name was mostly spoken in English as you you what tan want la want me in English mostly people mistaken for that so in, in Japan how they call her name as yo watanabe so they decided to use the yo so she, she is uh, the same as Kana, like same as Kanan. She also likes sailing and diving as well. So, and, and no spoiler on. Uh, I mean, a little bit of spoilers you know, for Love Like Sunshine, uh, especially you are um, currently watching, re rewatching Love Like Sunshine on, and um, the Love Like Squad Festival. Um, official YouTube channel. The a little bit of spoilers that at the right at the beginning that uh, Yo Watanabe uh, was attend uh, was about to attend to be uh, in the swimming uh, club, and uh, 
she want to do uh, the best for her chica so she decided to be uh, uh, joining chica as well for the school idol group so uh, yeah chica cheat wanna dress up and go chick or cheating with me yes yeah, sure but please don't be like at the time in and the Italy or the schools and you're I mean you're what an is such a fastenista and she just uh, hungry for uh, clothing even if she had to pick the uh, clothes up when the clothes is dropped outside the balcony she would uh, jump out of the balcony and have her friends to grab her legs I mean it's a no no so yeah we are going to Yoshiko or Halloween girls as the debut girls so I mean her, vis her visual her clothes she wearing is uh, less creepier than uh, at the uh, ha Halloween girls voting event and she looks more cuter with the usagi <laughs> and uh, she even had a signature for um, the devil as well I made a Halloween fallen angel costume just for today you had the honor of seeing it first so <laughs> I mean just uh, did you make the costume by yourself, Yoshiko, or Yo Watanabe make the uh, uh, costume for you, Yoshiko? But it's actually look at the uh, outfits. Wait, I remember Daya's outfit, but I think they elevated because it looks really similar to the Halloween Girls Voting event, and. Canons uh, is um, more like a Maho Shoujo now and I mean most of the costume they, uh, they didn't use the same costume but they they elevated uh, on the Halloween event which is really nice which in Dyer I, th I, <laughs> I don't know if they elevated but I, it looks nearly similar at the Halloween girls sporting event and except at the black and orange canon and uh, and uh, your Watanabe is uh, wearing is okay but okay actually in Halloween you can wear whatever you want actually so nice nice outfit Yoshiko so now with uh, Zuramaru or Hanamaru and I'm guessing the signature is saying Zura. I'm totally blind in Kanji, but uh, that's why I'm guess guessing because she's saying Zura a lot because of uh, the where she lives. But uh, <laughs> a little bit of sp again, a little bit of spoilers <laughs> of uh, Hanamaru personalities because she, uh, when. Whenever Hanamaru went into the big city, it's like Tokyo's or Hadokate, and Hanamaru had to act like more, uh, uh, like um, just a uh, uh, ordinary people, and try not to say Zura at the end. But uh, I mean, if I met. Uh, uh, the type of person in real life uh, and uh, accidentally saying uh, the word at the end but it, just because of where they um, live and they have the happy of it I don't mind because everybody has a freedom of speech anyway so she has symbol of the flowers and I did remember her that somehow she been uh, voted at the summer girls before. I don't know is that true, but uh, I, I I I don't I cannot remember. I could be wrong. So slow cook pumpkin pumpkin pie pumpkin croquettes. Hmm, Halloween is delicious, Zora. 
So basically, Hanamaru really likes to eat. And fun fact, I don't know how Hanamaru is really good at Italian, but as you know, I think it's uh, understandable when Hanamaru is a library girl, so she has a lot of knowledge. So next is Mary, or Hara Mary, and they changed uh, O and uh, the dot on the eye as a heart. So at the beginning, I th it's really confusing because I don't know where Mary's is actually half half because. Um, um, based on the season two of Low Life Sunshine, uh, no, uh, I mean it's a little bit of spoilers, but it's not actually spoilers on the stories anyway. So, Mary's father is from America, and of course everybody saw the trailers of Low Life School Idol movie Over the Rainbow. Mary's mother is from Italy, and. Uh, Mary is mm, being locked up by her parents all the time, preventing uh, meeting her friends, and it's it's just really sad. Like imagine when uh, you really like to hang out with your friend, but you have uh, to be locked up inside you know, just to be behave like a. Uh, a person who works inside the um, castles or uh, somewhere like I think, uh, like take you for example, like in London or in uh, somewhere in England. Like, and uh, instead of you want to uh, go and meet your friend and uh, uh, ask yourself being a, a, um, a person who works in the castles, you have to stay inside castle to behave. You know, whales instead of meeting your friends all the time, it's just not cool at all. So, for Mary, happy Halloween! You know, I love to meet you know, the real monster one day. Think today will be the day? Um, to be honest, uh, I mean, uh, you don't want to meet the real monsters because the mostly the real monsters nowadays it just. Um, mostly people who uh, uh, having abuse on women or ab abuse on little uh, children and it's just not fun at all <laughs> I mean we it's getting common now and I'm just uh, worry about how uh, people safely especially for little children <laughs> uh, I'm <laughs> I I mean I'm just a single person I don't have any <laughs> and any kids, but actually I'm just a, a brothers uh, of my siblings, and I'm just so worried about my little sibling as well. So um, I think Mar Mary's outfit is really nice, and she's shiny as well. So for Ruby, and yeah, that's why I'm talking about the real monsters. <laughs> And uh, yeah, a little bit of spoilers in Love Life Sunshine Season 1. And you just read the chat of uh, uh, Ruby being ascended. A bunch of uh, uh, people in the chat uh, really loves Ruby uh, mini skirts. And uh, people were saying that. <laughs> It's not good things to do. So Ruby for the candy, and sh I I mean to be honest, Ruby's Halloween's outfit is really cute, and and uh, to be honest, I don't I don't know if she's um, legal now because um, uh, mostly when people just watch. Um, uh, animes with a bunch of lollies and they uh, waiting OVAs for over years and years and years and then they try to think logically about the ages and time goes by 
and yeah, yeah I think they legal now but uh, for me as a respects on Ruby's pureness I don't want to mess with her if you want if you mess with one of the Aquarius members you mess with the whole Aquarius and there was actress if you mess with one of the Muse members as well as the voice actress you mess with the whole thing you don't want to do that so and Ruby as um, uh, Usagi a rabbit since for candy I don't know but I think it's representing that she's acting like a kid but I don't think so because you know, she's getting a character development developments now and she's getting uh, more mature now so can a check or lantern be lead to cuters the triangle sh eyes and sharp teeth are kind of spooky um so basically you don't need to make um sharp teeth you can make a chuckle lantern with uh, normal smiley faces and uh, you don't need uh, uh, the chuckle lantern to be a dragon angle eyes you can make like a circle eyes but it's just really hard to make because i make um, chuckle lanterns and make pumpkin before and using a knife uh, to carve uh, the eyes uh, up uh, the charcoal lanterns or even the mouth of charcoal lanterns and try to make it like a perfect curved shape that's super hard so that's the reason why people making a triangle eyes and sharp teeth in uh, just making straight lines for uh, the yeah they're just trying to make a straight lines for the uh, uh, charcoal lanterns so as everybody know that Ruby is um, uh, uh, Christmas girls because it's obviously it's bias <laughs> because uh, it's based on an anime because whenever you vote on the e girls of the events and you just basically based on the animes and you just based on the outfit and you just based on the, the letter as well so when <laughs> I mean, uh, a little bit of unfairness, but I, it, it's understandable. It makes sense, but I, ho I hope that uh, they uh, gonna have like a, um, a <laughs> art contest on uh, these girls as well. But I, I don't know. I actually don't know. I think most of these works of former game, lab games, they just want to mess with each others and they just want to create their uh, own uh, competitive stuff uh, like uh, to be honest they, uh, I have never heard of the art contest or um, the message contest on uh, uh, the love like girls ever so I think that most of the artworks visualizing on Halloween girls, Christmas girls, sunshine girls, I mean summer girls uh, and, and they get the people from voting and they just I just feel bad for the own creators and they just want their works to be more uh, honorable so yeah so if I get a vote for the Halloween uh, girls for Mills and Aquas and only if okay so based on uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna base on an anime because it's so biased and I'm not gonna base on the uh, uh, previous results so we all know that um, Rin is a Sega Girls Cup uh, collaboration being specialized and, uh, and Nozomi as a previous Halloween Girls and actu actually Kotori is a Christmas Girls uh, uh, for, uh, the voting event as well so um, if I get a vote into uh, the Halloween Girls for Meals and uh, I'm just gonna pick uh, Maki actually because Maki uh, visualizes actually good 
even though her, her signature is not uh, good, but uh, what I really care about is the uh, visualize of the characters because that's a uh, uh, drawing drawing your favorite character is actually already hard, so I really appreciate the uh, works. Uh, but yeah, if only we get the vote. But what about our girls? Uh, and uh, of course, like in the my previous, uh, in the previous um, uh, Halloween girls is Yoshiko. And yes, I indeed I picked Yoshiko in the last Halloween girls. Not be just because it's bias. It's also her outfit is so really creepy and it's more stand out than the others. However, for this year's, um, I think the Halloween girl should be um, Ruby actually because Ruby uh, drawing is more simple and it's more uh, not, not as creepy but it's a uh, motivation for little kids who really want to wear something cute for Halloween as well because to be honest I just don't <laughs> in my opinion just in my opinions okay I it's just you know it's getting uh, more boring boring from time to time when you just keep wearing creepy cosplays for Halloween it's, it's time to wear something cute actually just like Ruby if I get him to vote I mean I'm impressed of Kanan because it looks so complex and uh, I'm really impressed for the those who visualize in uh, uh, canon as well so it just again in I'm just interesting so let me know in the comments down below uh, uh, if you uh, are able to vote Halloween girls from aquas and from meals uh, what would you do what you what would you pick and <laughs> yeah and also removal from some data I don't know what is this about so I think it's just uh, fixing bugs actually so yeah so anyway and that's all for the Halloween message and yeah I did talk a lot and in the beginning of the videos I uh, uh, did mention about uh, the removal of uh, Love uh, Life Squad uh, project re release on the Love Life Squad Festival official uh, official YouTube channels and I, uh, I didn't make a promise that I would try to make uh, the uh, video more shorter and yeah the video is too long I just want to keep this as only one subject uh, videos for now because it just uh, I miss a lot of Love Life Squad at the festivals and just in just a month and I miss like uh, a one story event I, I miss uh, I actually I got I I have to like spend uh, like and, uh, three hours just playing uh, companion match in this and it's just a big uh, event it just honestly I don't like that companion match event because it's just keep me addicted to the game it just keep me unhealthy and uh, yeah recently I just get thing uh, uh, sleep deprived and I get lack of sleep so I don't want to destroy my life so uh, health is more important when you're playing uh, games and think about your frame family as well so yeah episode 10 i went to show that that is the one i missed so which getting to the point we are going to other stories which they should change other story to event story so we don't get mistaken so yeah i don't get um, episode 10 at all so rest in peace for me so anyway guys thank you guys for watching and as always hasta la vista